This amazing statistic. Today is the first day since 1983 that neither Bill nor Hillary Clinton has been in government office, ending a run of 10,980 days. As Hillary Clinton stepped down from the State Department on Friday, she was throwing punches and remaining coy about what's next. ABC's Rena Ninen, who covers the State Department for ABC News, is in Washington this morning. Rena, good morning. Good morning to you, Dan. It was really quite the send-off, complete with gifts from staffers like a driver's manual, phone book, and even TSA-approved three-ounce clear bottles for air travel. Thank you. It was a goodbye a source close to the secretary described as high-charged and sentimental. Quite a challenging week saying goodbye to so many people. Hi. Labeled as traveling nearly a million miles to more countries than any other Secretary of State. I have spent many hours here in Washington, around the world, and in airplanes. She made clear from the start she wasn't living in anyone's shadow. My husband is not the Secretary of State, I am. Since then, she's learned many new moves. As I look back over these past four years, I am very proud of the work we have done together. As she said her goodbyes Friday, she called for the mission to continue. I know that the world we are trying to help bring into being in the 21st century will have many difficult days. But I am more optimistic today than I was when I stood here four years ago. Driving away for a private gathering at her home. She's not ready to fully reveal her next act. I will miss you. I will probably be dialing ops just to talk. <laughs> I will wonder um, what you all are doing because I know that uh, because of your efforts day after day, uh, we are making a real difference. And uh, her successor has already been sworn in. Tell us about that, Rena. He was sworn in yesterday afternoon, and he is expected to address the State Department employees early Monday morning. But I have a feeling, Dan, that he will receive less criticism over his hairstyles than she did. <laughs> <laughs> the former Massachusetts Senator John Kerry sworn in yesterday and sworn in with cupcakes. Well, yes, I, always, I love that's that. Right. Welcome to the details. world's most stressful job. Here's a cupcake. <laughs> Here's a cupcake. Here's a cupcake. Marina and I, thank you.